Quick show of hands. How many people in here have designed a circuit board before? All right. That's actually way more people than it normally is. Normally it's just kind of ghost town out there. So uh, there's only 5 million people total that build circuit boards in the world. So it's a pretty small group of people that are powering, literally, the entire electronics and hardware industry. So what um, I myself am a pretty bad engineer. I mean, I have a lot of degrees that would state otherwise, but the real brains behind the operation is my co-founder, Colin. He's a really good engineer. He's, dealt, he's designed over 250 circuit boards and taken them all the way through production. I, on the other hand, I talk a lot. I'm the sales guy. I was the first sales engineer for Fusion 360. Um, if you like that product, you're welcome. And if you hate that product, I'm really sorry. So why, how circuit design goes today is you have two monitors on your desk. The first is a really big, nice monitor. You probably spent a lot of money on it. On that, you have your $10,000 CAD tool, which has thousands of features all working in perfect harmony, even though you're cursing at them, to produce the board design. And on the right, you have some jank ass monitor that you dug out of the trash heap. It's in portrait mode, it's got 42 tabs open and 12 PDFs. And that is what you are spending most of your time looking at when you're actually doing the circuit design, because that's all the data that you need to actually populate the circuit. Zenode is the second screen tool. So what we've gone out and done is built a co-pilot. We've loaded over 40 million parts in there and all of the ascending documentation. You can search through them in seconds rather than having to continually open them and hit control F and look things up. So what's crazy about all this is there's actually like a lot of money in this space. Um, I used to pay my co-founder, before he was my co-founder, $100,000 per board design, which you think is a lot of money. Except for the fact that the real money came after that, when we spent millions of dollars actually making the boards. Because the money is tied up in these tiny little reusable electronic components that are going to go on and populate the rest of it. So which ones do you pick? You spend about a third of your time choosing them. And no engineer, ever. I, actually, if I took a poll of 100 designers, and I said, which of you are actually confident that you picked the best components for this? 30% of them would say no. 60% of them would say, hell no. And 10% of them should probably run for public office because they are liars. So this is kind of how Xenode works. So we're gonna search for a voltage regulator, five volts. It goes in every single board. Now, what this looks like is on the left, we have Xenode. I just type in what I need. On the right, we have a uh, competitor catalog where first I have to figure out which category I'm looking for. Then I have to come in and if I want five volts, I have to highlight every single string range that contains five volts in it. Yes, this is every catalog out there. It's insane. It was designed in the 2000s and hasn't changed since. We're already done over here. This is gonna keep going for a minute. Now what I actually wanna know is whether or not it's gonna turn off randomly on me if I've got dirty power. So I'm looking for my under voltage lockout. I can run a deep dive on Zenode, and it is going to search the documentation on every single part on that screen. The alternative is me opening the part up, loading the PDF, hitting Control F, and tabbing through things. So obviously, yeah, we're still we're still trying to get five volts up on the other screen. So this is the state of things today, and really, like everybody's just kind of tearing their hair out about this at this particular time. So. What, um, you might ask me, like, hey, why isn't anybody else doing this? Were all your competitors dropped on their head as children? Probably not, but fun fact, I was, and my dad tells that story every Thanksgiving, so really looking forward to that in three weeks. But everybody else right now is competing for that primary screen. There are dozens of players that are trying to get a tiny little share of this market, and you have to have a perfect product to be able to do this. There is no tolerance for AI error, if you are making a thousand decisions on that board, 99.9% .9 accuracy, not good enough. That board's still a brick. Meanwhile, we got about 52% accuracy over here and we are blowing up. People are using us like crazy since we launched. We have doubled almost every single month since June in terms of, in, in every single category. So that's it, that's Xenode. We're here to stay. Uh, also, I have about 5,000 packs of trading cards, so if you're an engineer and want to find some of like the coolest people in history, uh, please come find me because my wife's